A beard will totally transform your image. Should you choose to sport one, you've got to do it right. You've got to pick the style that suits you, and it's got to be well kept. It's not 1902. Simply growing a rugged beard doesn't cut it anymore. Your beard has to complement your face and balance all your features. In this video, I'll teach you how to grow, style, and groom your beard. Why is having a beard important? It gives you a competitive edge. Based on a study done by Charles Darwin, males who have more prominent, desirable features tend to edge out other males who are more likely to attract females. Testosterone is an essential hormone within males. Higher levels of testosterone are associated with deeper voices, more muscle mass, and, you guessed it, more facial hair. We live in a highly competitive world. A beard is a clear sign of masculinity, authority, and strength. Much like a lion's mane, a beard makes a man look rugged. Beards create the appearance of a thicker, stronger jawline. If you can grow one, do it, and do it well. Having a beard makes you more attractive. Thousands of research studies have yielded the same results. Women prefer men with stubble or beards over clean-shaven men. This works for both long and short-term relationships. Even though we live in this modern world, the caveman rule is still very prominent in our subconscious thinking that a beard equals toughness and dominance. Beards make a man appear honorable. Prehistoric men wore their beards as a sign of intimidation, something that has carried throughout the centuries. Back in the day, beards were regarded as a sign of honor and valor. They were only ever cut as punishment to mark men who were not worthy of keeping their beards because of what they'd done. So only a man who acted and behaved with honor was entitled to keep his beard. And this thinking has carried into modern times as well. If you search throughout the annals of human history, you'll notice that male figures that stand out, whether they were emperors, politicians, or artists, had beards. Beards offer health benefits. Beard reduces your exposure to sunlight, which in turn protects your face from diseases like cancer. According to a recent study, beards can offer the equivalent of up to 21 UV protection, making it a natural sunscreen. That protection might seem small to you, but it can actually keep your face looking fresh and young. According to research, clean-shaven faces are three times more likely to carry MRSA bacteria compared to bearded faces. Your beard style. Now that we've covered why you should grow out your beard, let's get into the kind of beard you should grow. First, you need to determine your face shape. Note which features stand out the most. It could be your lips, eyebrows, cheeks, cheekbones. Your beard should accentuate your best features and further complement your hairstyle. If you have a narrow chin, go for a fuller beard to give you the appearance of a wider chin. If you already have a stronger jawline, opt for a subtle beard, like a stubble to balance out your jaw. If you have a rounder face and that roundness is due to your weight, avoid beards that show your neck. Don't trim or shave your neck too high. Keep your beard narrow on the sides and longer in the front. If you have an oval face, you can literally experiment with any beard style, as most beard styles will work perfectly on your face. If you have a fuller but a defined face, opt for a goatee. You can make your beard more appealing by playing with contrast. Perhaps a bushier chin paired with a short mustache, or a big mustache paired with stubble. Use Pinterest for inspiration before going to a barber. Perhaps a simple trimmer might assist you in your beard journey. For example, if you look at this pic, you can see that both his hair and brows stand out. He balanced it out by having well-kept stubble and goatee. But imagine if that same dude had a full beard. It would overwhelm his face and throw off the balance completely. Here are some more examples. Here, the eyes and hair are the most prominent, so he opted for a subtle beard. Same here as well. Over here, a full beard works perfectly to accentuate his features and balance out his short hair. This guy has longer hair, but it's styled away from his face, so he's also able to get away with a full beard. Finally, if you have a strong jawline, opt for a light beard. The key is to not do too much. If there's too much happening on your face, you'll be off balance. Listen, no matter what beard style you choose, it's gotta be well kept and shaved. But don't make the outlines too prominent. The key is to make it look natural and effortless. Lastly, and most importantly, your beard needs to be clean, healthy, and not unruly. Here are some beard health tips. Beard oil. If you're growing a beard, especially if you're growing a long one, apply beard oil to the skin and under the beard to keep it moisturized. Try beard softener, it can help too. If you have a patchy beard and you wanna go for bigger beard styles, remember to stay patient when growing it out. 
Eat healthy fats and proteins that will speed up the process. And exercise. Make sure to shave off the hair on your cheekbone and your neck. Please, please use beard wash if you have a full or long beard. Last tip, frequent shaving can lead to skin irritation, ingrown hairs, and even infections. So invest in quality shaving razors to reduce your risk. Which tip are you excited to try? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, check out the other videos on this channel.